Right then, everyone, how are you doing? So, news on who Newcastle got in the Carabao Cup later on this video, but today it's all about Joe Willock. Newcastle Fans TV. Yes, hello everyone. How are you doing, Zari? So, like I say, stay tuned towards the end of the video to find out who the tune have got in the second round of the League Cup. <sighs> Frustration because we're the still, still to this day, literally a few days away from the first game of the season, we're still the only Premier League club not to make a signing yet, which is frustrating us out. We all thought, you know, the rumours and the reports going around late Sunday night, early morning, that um, Newcastle had a great fee with Arsenal for the transfer of Joe Willock. We all think, right, brilliant, he's going to be signed in a day or two. And we've seen Lionel Messi get his move to Paris Saint-Germain. The millions and millions and millions that Paris will get, the millions that he'll get in wages, Messi as well. We can't even get Joe Willock out of the line. So it's it came out that on the... What, what alarmed me is that i seen it on the Arsenal, as Bakayo Saka, who was actually grew up as a Toon fan himself, as a youngster because of his dad, and Eddie Niketia both had on their Instagram story when he was down in Arsenal. So he's not in Newcastle, so he's down in North London. And he's got he's in, in the locker rooms and he's obviously got the, the Premier League player of the month when he's scoring all the goals and they're having a bit of banter and stuff with him. But that tells you that he's down south, he's not up Newcastle. And then Keith Downey came out earlier this evening and reported that the, the, the transfer fee between the two clubs are done. It's set. The happy both clubs are happy. It's just personal agreements between Joe Willock, maybe his agent. I don't know. Maybe, well, what it is, we don't know in the club. But what could it be? So maybe he wants reassurance on wages. Of course, that'll be the talking point. If Newcastle get relegated, maybe any clauses like transfer. You remember Mikel Marino? He had it, and he was off a year later. And look and look what he's doing now. He's doing bits. The Copa del Rey, Real Sociedad, and he's playing Champions League football, and he's a in Spanish international now. We didn't want that to happen again. Maybe it's closes, I don't know, but the club cannot agree terms. And you look at all the players that Newcastle have got rid of over this season. You look at Mutu, you look at Lejeune, you look at the free agents that have left as well. Um, Andy Carroll, Christian Atu, Henri Savé, Flamin Lejeune, as I say. Mutu, there's loads have gone, right? And we've got all this wages and we can free it up to get this to get the man in. He's really, really important, and I've said this and I'm sick of ganning on about it, that he's really important for this side because we need goals. I sound like a broken record ganning on and on and on and on and on and on. Because let's face it, and I'll keep saying it again, if you lose Callum Wilson, we're fucked. We are fucked. Take him out the side and he's out for say ten games, that's us winning probably one, two maximum, because we just didn't score enough goals. He is a key player, Joe Willock. If you get him in, you know you can break late into a box, scoring goals, arriving late. That's what Newcastle need. We don't just need just Willock and Wilson. We need other people like ASM, Almiron and Fraser chipping in with a few goals as well. They kind of just rely on Willock and Wilson for all the goals, but they're a massive, massive part. Because if Willock and Wilson have a full season, and that's a big if, have a full season fit, They'll score 30 goals and 30 goals will keep you mid-table. Because you think about the other players that'll chip in, that'll have you mid-table. Yes, they're going to be out with injuries, especially Wilson. We know that. He's quality. But where's the goals going to come from? It's going to come from Dwight Gale, who can't even stay fit fully season. No, I'm not. Yeah, it, it's frustrating as out, man, because it's, there's, it's stolen. And come West Ham, we thought we might happen through the door. Newcastle have got to get this done. You cannot let this go. Fucking hell, man. Get it out of the line, Charlie. Get your fucking finger root, man, for fuck's sake. But anyways, here's the news on Newcastle have got in the Carabao Cup. Let us know what you lot think in the comments down there below. Fucking piss take. Reading everybody, so please let us know how you feel about Joe Willock. But as promised, here is the draw that Newcastle have got in the League Cup second round. It's a home tie, which is the positive. So we'll get a lot more Toon fans there. We're not going to be travelling midweek, which is great. However, the negatives, it's a Premier League side and it's Burnley. Remember them? We've only just played them in a pre-season friendly very, very recently going down to 1-0 defeat. But it did home. That's the positive. Let us know how you feel about that Burnley at home. We've got a good record at home. So hopefully that'll continue. But we could have had a lot easier tie. The other Premier League tie that went around was Watford versus Crystal Palace. 
Matt, the Mackums have got Blackpool, so they'll be getting their rock once again from Sunny Blackpool. If you're interested in who the Mackums have got, tada everyone! Smash the like.